thank you so much for coming on the show today. Oh, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. So nice to see you. I have this strange feeling as if you've never not been on the scene. You've been a part of these big sweeping movies. I mean, The Butler is such a big deal. It broke all those records. It's such an important, true story. You worked with Oprah Winfrey, and she's an executive producer on your new film, The Waterman. What is it like working with such a legend? You know, my relationship with her began with us playing mother and son, and that relationship sort of bled beyond being in front of the camera. She, she just continued to be a sort of mother figure in my life, a great, you know, um, source of advice for me, advocacy for me, encouragement for me. We share a sensibility and um, yeah, she's just been um, one of my, uh, my life's greatest blessings, you know, from, from being together in the Butler. She was one of the main reasons Selma even happened. It was when I asked her to come on board as a producer that that really sort of gained traction. And then in terms of The Waterman, it was something I went to her and told her I was passionate about. And she said, look, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you realize this dream. I do feel like when she ordains things in any way as something we're all supposed to pay attention to, we do, we want people to shine light on stories, history, you know, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, stories. I mean, she started with the book club. Stories mm -hmm. are so important. And, mm -hmm. you know, I heard that E.T. was a film you saw very young. Uh, mm -hmm. What, may I ask, did that film do for you? Well, I, I have to admit, this is incredibly surreal for me to be talking to you <laughs> about this, because that film was so formative in my life. Um, it's super weird to be talking to you about it and, and that Oprah is my friend. I mean, how weird is life? Um, but anyway, um, it was formative for me. I, you know, I often say it's the first time I actually saw on film a family going through that very tough thing of the father has left, the kids are having to deal with where's daddy gone, the mother is having to deal with that as well, and then whoosh, the adventure and the fantasy begins. And Spielberg, more than anyone, you know, has just done that so brilliantly. I managed to get my film to him and he watched The Waterman and wrote back to me and said, you're a fine director and a really good storyteller. And I was just like, oh my goodness, life is so weird. Um, but anyway. Um... <laughs> it makes me so happy. He'll be honest yeah. too, I, I do believe. Like he is that kind of person. Yeah, you know, I have four kids now and uh, to, to get to share these kind of stories with them is so precious to me because I had to go back to those films in order to share a, a narrative like this to them. So when The Waterman came along, I thought, gosh, this could be something like that for a modern audience. We actually have a clip from um, The Waterman and I was wondering if you could kick it old school for us and help us set it up. Okay, is it, is it a clip with, between me and Lonnie? Guess what? I'm about to surprise you with it. Hold on. Watch this. Okay. okay. <laughs> if you had to choose between a short life with a lot of love in it and a very long life with no one left to love, which one would you choose? I would take a short life with your mom in it. Than a long one without her. Me too. I I'm just so excited for this movie. Okay, can I ask you another question? I was reading in your um, life story that mm -hmm. you had had a point where you thought maybe you would follow in your father's footsteps in life. And he had gotten married mm -hmm. when he was 40 years old. Um, mm -hmm. But you met the love of your life when you were, what was the exact age? We were 17 and 18 when we first met. Okay. And yeah. I was wondering, what would you say to someone who their life surprised them much earlier than they had planned? Oh, it's a, it's a beautiful question, actually, because as you say, my dad was my hero. And so basically I was going to follow in his footsteps. And then life happened. I met this 
woman and you know we became friends initially and then I just got to the point where I couldn't imagine the rest of my life without her in it and I thought oh no it's gone and happened <laughs> way earlier than I thought it would is it true that the morning after your wedding uh there was a <laughs> towel <laughs> okay so I I am I am anally tidy and <laughs> My, my wife's name is Jessica, and she grew up being called Messy Jessie. So, you know, we had a beautiful wedding, we had our wedding night, and it's the next morning, and my new wife, my brand new wife, goes in the shower, she has a shower, she comes in, and she takes off her towel, and she throws it on the floor and presents herself <laughs> in all of her nakedness. And the first thing I did was go, <laughs> I was looking at the towel. And she thought, oh, dear, we may have a problem here. I love your love story with your wife so much, and I just wanted to celebrate it.